Hello friends, welcome to today's daily devotion. I'm reading to you from the book of Acts, the second chapter, the first 12 verses. Hear now these words. When the day of Pentecost had come, they, meaning the disciples, were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rushing of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one of them heard speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Now there were Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residences of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. And in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's great deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? I've always wanted to go to the United Nations and be an observer as they had their various debates and assemblies and thinking about the cacophony of language that you could hear there because the United Nations is one of those places where at least when they're actually in session they are able to give us a greater breadth of human language than any other place assembled. Well this day of Pentecost which this coming Sunday is Pentecost Sunday which is why we're talking about this this morning that was a mini United Nations that was showing up in Jerusalem and what was amazing to those assembled people was that they were hearing about Jesus Christ and what God had done through him in their own native tongues and as they looked at those Galileans they knew those weren't people who should have known their own native languages. In some ways, this is dealing with a stereotype. The Galileans were considered to be backwater and kind of the Appalachian hillbilly of their time period. They weren't expected to be smart or educated or multilingual. And so when the disciples through the Holy Spirit go against that stereotype, the people are even more flabbergasted. And so they're left with the question, what does this mean? And that's the question for us today. What does this mean for us to hear about the mighty deeds of God in our native language? Most of the people that are watching this probably have English as their native language and you're used to hearing English every day. But what does it mean to hear the good news of what God is doing in the language of your heart? so that it resonates with your soul. I pray that you will feel the Holy Spirit on you like they did back then. And I'll see you on Monday for another daily devotion.